What's going on guys, this is AP. Welcome to another tutorial series on WordPress for beginners. In this tutorial, I'm going to be guiding you on how to use WordPress. And this tutorial is mainly made for beginners. Those who really want to start learning about WordPress. And uh, as you can see right now on my screen, let's just get right to it. As you can see on my screen, it says WordPress powers 33% of the internet. That's a lot, that's a lot. And which which makes it WordPress as one of the number one of the best uh, content management systems. And uh, one of the things that you have to know is that it is a open source, which is a free software. And also WordPress is free to manage and free to to make changes. Um, it's not really a complicated software, not at all. And it's mainly used a lot by bloggers and also some other press sites and a lot of websites use WordPress and also the other advantage is that you have to know is that WordPress uh, a lot of hosting companies they use they support WordPress so which makes it a good software to use in terms of uh, creating your own website or your blog so okay and uh, this tutorial I'm gonna be, in this tutorial series I'm gonna be guiding you first in terms of uh, installation, how to set up your WordPress on your computer, on your local computer. But if you're really interested in creating the WordPress the site or WordPress online, um, you have to just skip the installation part and head on straight to um, to the other. I think that's just the third tutorial. And because this first, as in terms of installation setup, it's not really important if you want to use the, the WordPress online. But otherwise, in terms of menus and categories and everything, it's all the same. So, yeah, this is it. So, guys, I'm going to see in the next tutorial where I'm going to do our, our setup, our download, and set up our ZAMP, and also uh, install our WordPress on our local computer. So, guys, I'll see you in the next tutorial. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. And I've added some links in terms of uh, some of the social links where you can just contact me and uh, let me know. If you have any latest project that you've created or if you have any question, just let me know in the comment section. See you guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial.